Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about back-end roles and juniors. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, when am I ready to take on a back-end developer role as a junior? And the short answer is when you have learned the core skills of what it means to be a back-end developer. Let me explain. So I'm just going to start off by saying this thing first, and this is something that's going to be unpleasant to hear because a lot of people are looking for certainty in their lives, and I'm sorry that I can't provide absolute certainty for you in this area because there is no such thing as absolute certainty. What I'm telling you is that each and every company out there will have their own idea of where you need to be in order to be considered a professional software developer. What that in practice means is that you can go to two companies in the same city and in one company you will be applicable to start working there depending on where you are of course and in another company they may just dismiss you because you don't have the skills to work there. Now the odds of that happening goes down the more you know but when you are just starting out it's very tricky to tell exactly where you need to be. So all I can do is that I can give you a rough idea of where you should be in order to at the very least start applying for jobs and have a certain level of confidence that you have what it takes to work in an industry or in in that specific company. So the first thing that you as a backend developer are going to need is that you're going to need a backend language. Hopefully that makes sense to you. You need to know how to code in a programming language such as Java, C Sharp, Python, well, Node or JavaScript if that's where you take PHP, etc, etc. Anything that is fairly associated with backend work is what you're going to require. And the best tip that I can give you, because the follow-up question here is going to be, which one should I pick? Well, if you're going to pick a language for job purposes, the most prudent thing for you to do is to go to the job postings and have a look in your region what is being asked of developers, what skills are in high demand. Because if you go to the internet or if you go to YouTube, what they are going to do is that they're going to tell you about all the trendiest and coolest languages and what's hyped and what's, what's hip right now. And that's just not worth anything to you as a professional. It's not, not worth anything to a professional developer in essence to know what is at least not in the beginning of things because it's you're not going to have time, well, unless you take the time to focus on both learning how to survive as a professional and how to learn the coolest thing out there that really only matters to the people who either have found a company that actually uses that language or they are contributors or so forth. So that's why I tell you always start by looking up the jobs in your region because that's the thing that's going to get you hired. Secondly, apart from learning a backend language, you are going to need to learn a framework, a backend framework of some sort, most of the time at the very least. There are a few exceptions, but usually it's going to be required. And a backend web framework is standard practice for most companies to use, and most companies expect you to have an understanding of something, as an example, .NET is, well, not necessarily just for web work, but the .NET framework for C Sharp is a fairly standard thing. It's something that you are expected to know, just as in, say, Node.js, Express is probably one of the most common frameworks that, or libraries, call it whatever you want, right? Is that you should be familiar with, and Ruby on Rails and so forth, if it's Ruby that you're going into. So you have to figure that out, and that, once again, is easiest to figure out if you go to the job postings because at the job postings they're going to tell you what they're working with and that's going to give you a rough idea of what's out there and what you should be focusing on. So that is also very important. Now after that you're going to need to learn about databases. You're going to have once you and I'm just kind of, this this should stay fairly short but you should be aware of that learning a backend language and learning a web framework and understanding like how the web works and all of that stuff the, these things take time guys this takes 
more time than you think. And then learning a database on top of that, so it's going to be required of you as well because that's core knowledge. Core knowledge is and is part that is part of your role as a da- as a backend developer. You need to because most of what you do is you take a request that comes in from the internet or some external system, and then you do some business logic and then you save something to a database. So it makes sense, right? That you need to know a beta- about a database. Now, once again, go to the job postings and assert that you are checking what they are asking for. The older companies usually ask for things like MySQL, Oracle DB, or Postgres, or something like that. It's usually a relational database that you're dealing with. Startups and more modern companies are sometimes also where very often using this as well, but MongoDB is also a very popular choice. It very much varies, so you should have a look at the in the job postings there once more and then lastly what you need to know is a version control system i'm just going to say that for the most part git is going to be the, the tool of choice for the vast majority of the industry you can go with another system but it's fairly it's fairly safe this is the problem with the job postings in this regard it's not that often that they specify that they're using git for some reason it might be a culture say i don't really know or it might just be one of those things where they expect it's so common, quote unquote, that they just expect you to know it. But you should be aware of that this is something that you definitely need to know because you can't most of the time work in a professional capacity without a version control system. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to figure out if you're ready to apply for backend roles as the software developer or and as a junior, the first thing that you need to ask yourself is, do I have the core skills? And the core skills are in general terms, a backend language, a web framework of some sort, a database system, so that you know how to use databases, and a version control system. These are the bare bone minimum requirements for you to be able to do anything in the backend context when you're dealing with web applications. Have a great day.